We're going to set a cartridge valve using our cartridge valve setting kit that we've developed. Uh, we've, we've taken out the blanking cartridge or the relief cartridge that we had in and we've installed this counterbalance valve. So this block can be used to set any pressure control type valve uh, but not pressure reducing valves. Before we install the valve in we check each of the seals to make sure that there's no damage. We also check that the cartridge is clean. When we install it we put it in and we use our torque wrench to make sure that it's torqued up to the appropriate torque. Close the lid. The lid's to protect us from any potential oil squirts if there is a failure of some sort. Close the ball valve which locks the lid in place so that once the, the system is pressurised we can't open the lid and expose ourselves to any issues. Uh, it also means that before we remove a cartridge valve it has to be depressurised. Select the appropriate tool. We need a 4mm Allen key. We can access through the Lexan here straight down onto the uh, adjuster for the cartridge valve. Put the handle in and now that we've closed the ball valve we can pressurise the system watching our gauges. The pressure will rise fairly rapidly and once we've got it set we set our gauge, our cartridge valve to where we want it to be and we make sure that it will maintain pressure for about five or six seconds just to make sure there's no excess leakage in the valve. Once we're happy that the valve's set, take the tool out and depressurise. Open up the lid and we grab a spanner to lock off the adjuster. Do up the lock nut. And then we close the lid again and just recheck that setting, make sure that it hasn't moved while we were locking off the lock nut. So quickly pump it back up. So we're happy that that setting's held. Remove the handle. Open the ball valve again, depressurise the system, check that both gauges have reduced to zero. Open the lid, grab ourselves a clean bag, ready to store the valve into. Remove the valve. Give it a quick clean on our absorbent paper. Check the O-rings, make sure that there's no damage on any of the O-rings, it's still nice and clean. Put it into a Ziploc bag. On the outside of the Ziploc bag we put in what the valve, we write on it what the valve is and what, what it's just been set to and probably the date would be handy. Then we grab our blanking cartridge, so this one's a relief valve. Check all the O-rings, make sure that there's no damage. Install it back in. And once we've put it in, again we torque it up to the appropriate torque. 